California has suffered through an epic drought for the past four years. Residents were threatened with fines for overwatering, new laws were passed on groundwater use, Conditions got so bad in summer of 2015 that about 20,000 residents of Bakersfield, California nearly ran out of water. But none of that has stopped development in Bakersfield. About 58,000 homes in and around Bakersfield are currently in some phase of construction or are approved to be built. At an average of three people per house, that could mean another 174,000 people would be added to the town's population. That's the size of another Fort Lauderdale, Providence, or Tempe all of which equals a lot more water. How much? Well, let's do the math. The average person in Bakersfield uses 250 gallons per day. That means 16 billion gallons of water would be needed every year for all those extra people. If you think of an acre foot as one football field covered in a foot of water, that means all those new people would need 52,000 football fields worth of water every year. And that would be on top of the city's current demand of 120,000 acre feet per year. Bakersfield water officials have long maintained that there's more than enough water for our current and future population. Is there? Okay, so here's how it works. Groundwater is Bakersfield's main source of water, and that source is actually replenished by the Kern River. But for the past four years, there hasn't been any extra river water to rebuild our groundwater. Now, river water is also used directly by two local treatment plants that serve about 20,000 people. In the summer of 2015, however, the city's river water ran out completely, leaving those treatment plants high and dry. They did some fast water trades, they kept the plants afloat, but that all got me thinking, how much growth can our water actually sustain? Water and planning officials I spoke with didn't really have an answer to that question. More importantly, it seemed, no one but me was even asking. Whether this drought is over remains to be seen, but one thing's certain, California can always expect another drought. So the question remains, how much growth can Bakersfield's water support?